Welcome back to another post game Montreal Canadian. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Welcome back to another special edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your coach, Coach Frenchy, back in the house for another post-game Montreal Canadian. And uh, unfortunately, ouch, painful, hurt, disappointment, frustrated. Oh, he was so bad last night. Um, you know, during a season, hockey season, anytime if you play 82 game or 56 game, it's not a matter. You're going to have bad game, bad execution, just not the way you should be. And it's happening last night. And sometimes you have a one player can have a bad game, but overall, the team find a way to win because the 19 other players step up or they play better. But last night it was like, you know, I cannot only name, you know, I think some players have a better night, but uh, Jeff Petri, Kulak, Kukenemi, and, you know, I can go uh, put more carry price, and they struggled last night. Uh, Jeff Petri had minus five yesterday, and uh, it, it is what it is, right? Uh, I, I believe Ottawa did not beat Montreal yesterday. Montreal beat themselves. That's the... The best way to resume that post game today, Montreal beat themselves. Um, so as a, 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 a fans, you, you get frustrated, you know what I mean? And um, anyway, it is what it is, and we have to go through the post game today. Ottawa 6, Montreal 3. I apologize on that one. So let's start with the score sheet of the game. Like I said, 6-3 Ottawa. It's uh, right away at the beginning. It just gave you an idea. We knew at the beginning the game is going to be a, hard, a difficult night. Uh, at 23 seconds, I believe, uh, Brendan Gallagher got a, a, a double minor penalty for ice stick at the, in the Josh Norris face. And that moment, uh, <laughs> he was like, oh, my God, maybe it's going to be a tough night if this happening because at 42 seconds right away, Brady Ketchuk scored his 12th of the year on power play. Patterson and Chabot have a helper on that one. And uh, that's gave the first goal or the first point of Ketchuk in the last five games. So, um, and that you say, okay, you know, we still have 59 minutes to go. We'll see what's happening. So, when Montreal go through that penalty after that, the second penalty with no problem, 1-0. And then uh, Ottawa get a penalty in three, uh, three minutes, 45 seconds, I believe, after that. And um, that's bring now a first power play for Montreal. And 531, back from the, on the roster after missing a couple of games for Montreal Kennedy. And Tyler Toffoli score is 19 of the year. Suzuki and well, well Weber have an assist on that one. And that's tied the game 1-1. So he said, oh, that's maybe like, now, you know what? It, it is what it is. Bad penalty, Kelly girl. Let's move on. Let's go. Finish strong the first pair. We'll see what's happening. Then seven minute later, Connor Brown on short ended. During the time Matoy was on power play, gave the lead again to Ottawa. He was his ninth of the year. Uh, Paul and Cobran get an assist at 12.07. Said, geez, this is going to change the momentum. And that's what happening after that. Because the rest of the period, Ottawa was more. Uh, in charge whatsoever, the, the, the shot was 14-13 after one. Um, Ottawa have a little bit more chance to score. Montreal missing a couple of opportunities, but not good enough to score. And the final score after the first period was 2-1 to one for Ottawa. So um, at that moment, so let's move on to the second period. And then... At 6 58, uh, Josh Anderson, a wrist shot score is 12 of the year. Victor Mete and Kokenimi have an assist on that one. And now I said again, wow, Montreal now getting back in the game. And I feel like Montreal have a, have a lot of opportunity since the beginning of the game to, to at least to compete and to be around them 
and maybe get the, at some point the lead of the game. But obviously, again, one minute later, less than one minute, of, honestly, at 50 seconds, Dadanov score is eight of the year. Shabbat and Anisimov have an assist on that one. It was his first assist that Anisimov tonight because he got three. Um, that gave again the lead to Ottawa by 3 2. And then at the end of the of the, at the end of the period, we got two goals right there. Dadanov again, another great goal in for the net where Pitori and Kukenimi and Kulak did not check him. He was by himself, scored his ninth of the year. Sosol and Animisanov have another assist at 16 48. And then two minutes later, Josh Anderson scored his 13th of the season. Suzuki and Weber, uh, their second assist of the night at 18 48. That cut the lead by 2 to 1. And the final score after two was 4 to 3. Shaw was 12. Uh, for Montreal, nine for Senators. After two was 21, 22 at Ottawa, 26 Montreal. And again, I was said to the boys during the live stream, to the people who was watching, Montreal have, I feel they were coming, coming back. They, they, they was pushing, but not enough to score. But I feel like Ottawa was not playing really great. And um, whatsoever, they have already uh, four goals. I just feel they was not playing their best game. Yet, and then during the third period, that's what maybe changed the momentum because Ottawa scored right away at 258 55. Uh, for Menton scored his second of the year. Um, Amisinov uh, got his third assist of the night at 255, like I said. And I'll be honest with you, at least I think that goal cut the legs for the rest of the team for Montreal. They, they tried, but not good enough to score. And finally, the empty net at 17 05. Patterson scored his 12 of the year. Riley, Riley's get another assist. And it was over for Montreal by a score at 6 3. Uh, the shot during the last period it was 12 versus 10 for again for Montreal Canadian. But the score don't show, but the score don't show. The score is honestly Ottawa played a little bit better because Montreal played bad on the defensive side. Bad coverage, that not win the battle. Uh, they was chasing the puck a lot on defensive side, and uh, that's create a lot of opportunity for Ottawa. They took advantage of only the opportunity they got. They score most of the time. And Carey Price was at least three of the five goals he gave. He should be better, uh, but again, the bad coverage did not help for sure. Um, on the flip side, on the other side, you have a couple of opportunity. Tyler Toffoli have a breakaway. We have a two versus one, two times. Um, Montreal could score Gallagher one time on power play, couldn't add another one. So um, at the end of the day, it's a bad game in the system for Montreal. And let's move on to the next game. That's how it works in the, in sport. So uh, let's move on by number here. Uh, like I said, the series now is 3-2-2 two, two for Montreal. The final score is 6-3. The shot 38-32 advantage Montreal. The face off was 59 41 for Montreal. One and five, that's kill in Montreal. Uh, only one goal in five attempts. Ottawa, one and two. So you can give you an idea. They will take advantage of the special team. Plus, we have to add the goal and shorten the, that change. Also, the momentum of the game. The hit was 33 27 advantage Montreal. The black shot, 16 11 for Ottawa. Minute of penalty, 9 Montreal, 15 Ottawa. Gave away 10 by Montreal and 13 by the Senators. And most of the points during the game, Josh Anderson have 2. But we have also Suzuki, Weber um, have also 2 during the game. And finally, for the Ottawa with most the assists and the point, uh, Anissima have, have 3 points uh, during the game. And also have the most shot on the goal. Well, on carry Price with four, a few other players for Ottawa also have four. For the Montreal, Shea Weber have four. The TOI, uh, Joel Edmondson have 20 44. Thomas Shabbat have 23 51. A save percentage for Forsberg 0.921. 35 save uh, on the 38 shot he faced. And then carry Price, it's uh, 0.839 today at 27. 
shot he saved on the 32 um, shot from Ottawa. The third star of the game, Anim Sinav, with three assists for Ottawa, maybe one of the best game of the season for him. We know he was on the waiver list a couple of days ago, uh, maybe one week ago, came back on the team tonight, and he brings that kind of offensive for the Ottawa Senator. The second star of the game for the Montreal Canadiens with two goals, uh, Josh Anderson. And finally, the first star for the Ottawa Senator with two goals is eight and nine of the season, Evgeny Dadonov. So that was a conclude the both game. Like what we do at the, each game, we bring you guys the player profile of the game. It was Corey Perry today. have zero goals, zero assists today. But uh, during the season, they have seven goals, six assists, 13 points, 26 games. And also yesterday, he played for the first time of the year on the third line um, with Suzuki. So uh, that will promote him a little bit. We'll see what happening. Uh, Monday night, because the next game for the Montreal Canadiens, it's Monday night at 7 o'clock at Montreal. Again, the Edmonton Oilers. We're supposed to welcome uh, and open the door to the new players, Eric Stahl, with the number, wearing number 21. So that would be the the game, the first game with Eric Stahl, saying he got trade with the Montreal Canadiens. He was on quarantine for about seven days so uh that's conclude the post game for the montreal canadian thanks again to watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and facebook page under hockey nation live show this is your coach coach french is directly from the boot and finally don't forget we live stream all the game for the montreal canadian every time they play so we'll be back monday night at seven o'clock uh, with you guys to watch with me to talk about the hockey and finally like we would like to do at the end of each video remember we have what Greatness inside of you. Have an amazing rest of the weekend. Look forward to seeing you Monday night for another game of Montreal Canadiens. Les Bleus, Blanc, Rouge. Bonne fin de semaine, les amis. On se revoit lundi soir.